Okay, I come across a problem. I have a one terabyte hard drive and I was installing Windows 10 and it has well I've I've reset my computer during installation and when I've reboot my computer well my one terabyte hard drive shrunk to 33 megabytes oh dear and I, I've, I've tried everything I've went on a different computer attached my hard drive went on the disk manager etc etc I couldn't I just couldn't fix it and I was looking online for solution for ages and I found one and I'm going to show you how to fix it so to do that you need another computer that actually works so I turn this off and then you go on Seagate website I know it's it, the hard drive I have is a western digital hard drive it doesn't really matter it, it works and you need a pen drive so you plug in your pen drive you, you could plug in later, but it doesn't matter. So you download... Oh, where is it gone? You download from this address here. Seagate.com Whatever, it's going to be in the description down below anyway. So you go ahead and download the C Tools for DOS. Once it's downloaded... Just gonna speed it up here a bit, probably. So once it's downloaded, you go to the download folder, and you've got an image file or an ISO file. Doesn't really matter. You just in Windows 10. You can mount the disk into your computer without installing any app but if you have a different operating system you have to make sure you've got an app an application that allows you to mount this image file into your system or browse this file I'm not sure if I can browse it no I can mount it or burn it so if you either you double click or just right um, right click and mount or whichever way you like I'm just gonna double click here and I've mounted it as an F drive doesn't matter I'm just trying to show you and you need to find this file ctools.ema and you need to copy this file copy and go back to your download folder or whichever folder you really like to desktop wherever and then right click paste and you have a file there and then you right click again and go rename it and you need to rename the actual file extension like the lost it should be an IMG file and it's gonna ask you like if you change the file file name extension the file might be become unusable are you sure yes you sure yeah go ahead and do that Okay, now we have another image file. Now you need to go back to your browser and download from Win32 Disk Imager. You can find the link below the description again. And then you just go and download. Really, I well, I really thought that but the hard drive just failed. They died, like. I just couldn't fix it anyhow. Come on, where is it? Oh, there we go, it comes out. Okay, and then you install this. Yes, of course. And then just go and Accept the treatment, click next, and then I'm just going to click through it. In fact, I'm going to have the desktop shortcut, but you don't have to. And then untick the README because we don't want junk, and then launch the app. There we go. 
So I've already attached a pen drive. You, you could actually attach it now, but I've already done it. So you choose the drive you want to write to. This is the pen drive. And then you choose the image file. This is the file that we renamed the IMG file. And as you can see here, look. Focus, focus. Yeah, there we go. This is the C Tools IMG. And then all you do now is write. Are you sure? Yeah, it just make sure it's your pen drive again. Just make sure again. The target drive G. Make sure. Otherwise, you overwrite or whatever. And then close, exit. And then um, G drive. Right click. Eject your pen drive. Yeah, safe to remove. Good. Now. Plug it into your computer and turn it on and go to your boot menu. For mine, I have to press F12 when it says there boot menu F12. Yeah, so I'm just keep pressing it and then it goes boot from USB HDD. Sometimes, sometimes it's not there, sometimes you find it in hard drive. And it will be listed here. Some pen drives appear here, and some of them out here. So you just go USB HDD. But again, your motherboard may be different. So you can use your mouth, that's great. So you accept the, li the license and then you got to wait a bit. It's kind of searching for devices and one moment and they're going to be here. There we go. So we've got one hard drive which is 500 gigabytes which is fine and the other hard drive is 0 0.034 gigabytes but we can fix that easily. Advanced features and set capacity to max native. Now we know it's all done. Fixed. You don't, I don't have to throw it away. Okay, and then you just go and click exit. And then you probably you've, you've just turn it off. You need to do a power cycle so you it's not enough to reset, you need to turn it off and then on and then go into your BIOS setup again different computers use different keyboards, some of them use F2, some of them use delete mine does use delete button but you might be using F1, F2 I don't know, you need to check it on your screen so there we go. We've just set it back to one terabyte. Thanks for watching. Yeah, um, I don't know. It's gonna be all different videos from in on this channel. But if you want, you can like and subscribe. Maybe. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye.